Hallelujah. And we can keep on praising. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Lord God, we just bless you, Lord God. We honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you for visiting us on today, Lord God. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. That's unlike you, Lord God. You are high. You are lofty. Higher glory. Higher glory. That's not like you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. How many of everybody is willing this morning? We come here to bless his name. We come here to worship him.
I want to exalt your holy name because you are worthy. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to move in the midst of this service. You are already filling the atmosphere with your presence. We believe you today, oh God, to perform your signs, your wonders, your mighty acts amongst your people. Oh, do your work, do your work. Save souls. Oh God, those that are in this building and online, it doesn't matter where they are. Oh God, if they hear thy voice on today, speaking, oh God, to them, to their situation, oh their condition, heal and deliver spiritually and naturally. Heal minds, heal broken spirits and hearts. Oh, men, the men broken hearts. Oh, heal emotional problems and conditions. Oh, make the people whole according to your word. We believe you, God, to have your way in Jesus' name. Use your vessel according to your perfect will. We ask again in your name, Jesus. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Again. Amen. I'm going to the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah, the fourth chapter. Fourth chapter, and after which we're going to jump over to chapter six. Beginning at verse one, chapter four. The Bible said, but it came to pass that when Sambalik heard that we builded the wall, he was wroth, therefore he was upset, and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Or will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of rubbish which are burned? Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Hear, O oh, our God. This is Nehemiah's response to all of this. For we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So build we the wall. And all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. For the people had a mind to work. Chapter 6. Chapter 6 verses 15 and 16. Thanks. Here, as we look into the word of God, it says, So the wall was finished in the twenty and the fifth day of the month, Elul, in fifty and two days. And it came to pass that when all our enemies heard thereof, and all the heathen that were about us saw these things, they were much cast down in their eyes. 
For they perceived that this work was wrought of God. Go back with me, if you will, to chapter 4. 16. Thank you. Chapter 4. Amen. I'd like to go to verse, give me a second here. Let me find it real quick. Verse 6. Let's read that together, if you will. So build we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. For the people had a mind to work. I'd like to use for a topic on this morning. You have to have a mind to do it. Look at your neighbor and tell them, you have to have a mind to do it. Tell them again. You have to have a mind to do it. What I realize is this. There are a lot of things that we want and we say we want them. Am I right? Amen. How many people in here want to lose some weight? Got a whole lot of hands on that. You want to lose some weight. Amen. How many people in here would like God to bless you? Amen. I mean, really, really, really bless you. Amen. With some real good money, even to making you a millionaire, billionaire. Now, wait till you hear what I have to say, because some of y'all might put your hands down. Because if you don't have the right motive. See, everybody don't have the right motive. They just want it. Because they want it for themselves. Mm -hmm. So wait till I finish. Because you might not be in this group. But you want God to bless you. Amen. In such a way so that you can also be a blessing. To the kingdom of God. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. You, you want it. Uh-huh. How many in here that are currently in school, amen, be it middle school, high school, elementary school, in college, amen, that wants to excel to a higher degree than what you have already excelled? Come on, come on. How many? All right, some of y'all don't want to go no further. Some of y'all not. You net over. Okay. So let me, just, let me just stop, do a little sidebar. Especially to my young, my young people. All right. Unless you have all A's right now. If you don't have all A's right now, amen, God can bless you to do better. All right. So we want you to try to get to a better place. All right. And we're expecting God to do that for you. Now, you might not make the A. I can tell everybody's not going to make A's. Y'all know that, right? Everybody's not going to. But God wants you to do the best that you can. All right? And so if you can do better than what you've already done, he wants you to be able to do that and reach out and stretch out to do that and have a mind, all right, to excel higher in school than what you have already done. Amen? So we all, for the most part, most of us have raised our hand in one of those categories or the other or all or something. Amen? Of things that we want to happen. Am I right? Oh, my God. How many entrepreneurs I have in here? You want your business to excel. You want, you want that, right? You want it. You want it. That's what you want. That's what you want. Mm. That's good. We want a whole lot of things. Not only do we want a whole lot of things, we actually can have a whole lot of things. We can have a whole lot of things. The problem comes in here. Now, as I spoke, I said, first of all, I asked about the losing the weight because a lot of us want to lose the weight. Y'all know how that is. And if I was to ask the question, how many people in here have actually brought um, some equipment to lose weight? You, you bought it, equipment. You, you bought it. You bought it. Mm. It's in your house today, bro. Bikes, treadmills, weights. Because you want to lose weight. Mm. And people are here that don't have a house that want to own your house, want to own your house. You want to. You want to. You want to own it. 
Oh, that's a few hands. Now, this is, I'm going to do another sidebar real quick. <laughs> All right. I'm not saying just because I'm a realtor, but I'm just going to do a sidebar. This, God wants us to have land. God wants his people to own things. Okay? He wants you to own. Because when you just paying that rent, somebody else is paying and paying off their stuff with your money. And the rent that they, that's costing nowadays is enough to be paying a mortgage. So why just pay, pay somebody rent and it's just going into their hands and you don't have nothing to show for it. They can call you up or send you a letter and say, I need you to leave in about 30 to 60 days and then you have to get out and find somewhere else to go. My God. All right. And I know it goes up and, up and down. This, this market is fluctuating. But right now, houses are more expensive. Houses are worth more than they were last year and stuff like that. You understand? They sell them at higher prices. So it's good for the sellers right now. But it's also good for the buyers. Not, you know, not as good on some aspects of it. Depends on how you look at it. I can't go on to that because that's not why I'm here. All right. That's not what I'm really talking about. I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. All right. Some people don't want anything. And it's not really because you don't want to want anything. It's because you really don't believe you can have what you want. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. We can want all we want to. But how we get our mind. Like I said, we want to lose weight, but until you get a mind to lose weight, ooh, a mind to do it, not just a desire. When I talk about mind, when I say your mind is set, when I say I'm going with Jesus all the way, I mean that. When I say go turn it back, I mean that. When I say I'm going to serve God forever, I mean that. Amen. Amen. And what that also says when you have a mind to do it is that I'm going to do it. Amen. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, I am going to do it. And we already know, of course, with the help of God, but God's going to help you. So I'm going to do it. I stand upon the word of God and I declare I am going to do it. My mind is made up. My heart is already fixed. I'm not wondering whether I'm going to be saved next year if I'm living or not. I will be saved. My mind is made up. I got a mind to do it. <laughs> I don't just want to do it. I have a mind to do it. And you can't make me change my mind. When you really want to do something and your mind is made up, can't nobody make you change your mind. You know what I'm talking about. Get it done. 
I have a mind to do, Lord have mercy. I, oh my goodness. I, I look at my my, my minister Martha Powell here. Oh God. I'm not saying nobody will ever have to encourage you. Amen. Sometimes you need encouragement. But what I do want to say is sometimes nobody going to encourage you to do what you have a mind to do. And your mind got to be made up. That if don't nobody pat me on my back, tell me I can do it. I'm going to tell myself. The Bible tells us about the situation where David and his men had gone out and they left their families back in Ziglag. Yes. Mm -hmm. Left their families back in Ziglag and when the men got back home, Ziglag had been burned up and their families were taken. Yes. And the men that were with David the, and David himself, they all began to cry and to weep. Amen. They cried and cried and cried. Huh? The Bible said until they had no more strength to cry. Uh, I know there's somebody in here huh, that probably can identify with that. Huh? Amen. I know I can identify huh, that there's been a time in my life. Huh? Amen. That I cried and I cried and I cried. Huh? Cried in the morning. Huh? Cried in the evening. Huh? Cried at night. Huh? I cried so much. Huh? I got sick and tired. I'm trying to help 
you, ha, to get your mind made up. Ha, if you're going to really do something in life, ha, you're going to get your mind made up. Ha, you got to say, I'm going to do it. Ha, I'm going to weather the storm. Ha, I'm going to go all the way through. Ha, I'm going to stop quitting in the middle. Ha, I'm going to stop giving up. Ha, I'm going to stop going in the towel. Ha, it ain't going my way. Ha, just keep on going. Ha, have your mind. Myself. 
breath of the Lord. Uh, the more the word of God I get, uh, the more of God I get. Uh, I'm going to meditate in his laws uh, both day and night uh, because I have a mind to do uh, what God wants me to do. Uh, I got a mind to do it. Uh, I know everybody don't want to do it, uh, but I do want to do it. Uh, what that means uh, is you will go against the odds uh, when you have a mind Then you got to want to do it. That's right. 
And then you got to get a mind. Come on. Hey, do yeah. Oh, God, help me in here. Uh, oh, Lord. How many times do people say, I want to do the will of God? Mm -hmm. That's a want. Yeah. You desire to do it, and you want to do it. But is your mind made up to do it? That's right. That's it right. You got a whole lot of wanting people. Yeah. Got that right. You got that right. I want to live right. I want to talk right. I want to do right. Yeah. But my mind is not made. I refer to this song time and time again where they sing and they say you can't do right with a do wrong mind. Cannot, cannot. Because see, as, as a shepherd, you know, we, we go to God over certain things as we see things conspiring and happening in the lives of people and sometimes it's happening in a way that it didn't used to happen. Right. You're like, what in the world is going wrong? Because I know I do this, that, and the other. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Amen. What is going on? And God has to just sit down and talk to you, you know, a little bit and say, this is exactly what's going on right here. Right. This is what's going on. They, they don't have a mind to do it. My God! They don't have a mind to do it. You can preach till the ceiling falls down. Got that right. Yeah. You can yeah. teach till the ceiling falls down. That's yeah. right. All your hair can fall out your head. That's right. But until they get a mind, that's the truth. They are not going to do it. Good God, and that's the truth. Woo! I go to you. You have to have a mind. Yes. Do it. Right. You gotta want it so bad.
going in the gym, being trained, literally putting their uh, life in jeopardy to go out there and do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just sit back and judge it on. Y'all know what I did. Yeah, it ain't worth all that. I mean, depending on how good they got there. You know what I'm saying? But did you know what they went through to get everything that they had? Did you know how rough and rugged their journeys were? Mm. Most entrepreneurs, amen, did not start out with money and they became rich. Their stories are not pretty stories. Amen. They had it hard. They had it rough. They had it rocky. It was difficult. But they had a mind to do it. Amen. So when obstacles came in their way, they had a mind to do it. Sometimes the bottom fell out, but they had a mind to do it. Yeah. So they kept on if you fall, if you fail, get up and do it. It's hard. Do it hard. I'm just going to do it. I'm not in control of everything that happens. You're not in control of everything that happens. If we were in control, we would have did some things differently. I know I would have. Yes, Stop! Then I'm like, yeah. I, I would have chose to happen. I, I, some heartaches and pains I wouldn't have chose to have. Some disturbances I wouldn't have chose to have. Some ups, some downs I wouldn't have chose to have. Some battles. You understand those lows I wouldn't have to chose to go through. I, I, I wouldn't have chosen certain things. Oh, Lord, have mercy, mercy. Why do I go through this? It's all with a purpose. It's getting you to your destination. Got to have a mind. Don't do it. Stop settling and giving up because you frustrated. Other people have been frustrated. You're not the first. The question is, can it be done? And if anybody has done it, so can you. If that's what's meant for you, you can do it also. But are you willing to pay the price? To do it. Are you willing to pay the price? Now that's the natural stuff and the spiritual stuff. Because you have people who want to be great in that, you're great in the spirit, you can be great in both. You can be great in both. Do you have a mind to do it? Do you have that mind? Nehemiah has found out that the walls of Jerusalem have been broken down. He begins to be a sorrowful man. And he goes before the king. And he's sorrowful. Never supposed to go before the king. With a sad looking countenance. Back then they would kill you. And he knew that. So when the king asked him a question. The Bible says he was afraid. But then he answered the king. And told the king why he was downcast. Because the walls of Jerusalem. They had been torn down. They were only torn down. They were burnt up. He decided to go back. He got blessed him to go back so that he could help build the walls back again. And the king blessed him with materials. Yes, he did. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Will not God fund his own project? Yes. 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 But he uses people. He uses people. But Nehemiah had a mind to do it. And I got to make the long story short. So when he gets 
there and he talks to the people. They're looking around at the ruins. They're living in the city. Their walls are torn down. Any enemy can come in and take over. When you don't have walls. See, that's why you got to have some walls. Now, the walls that I'm talking about, I'm not talking about those walls that you have built up against all the other guy. I don't want to let nobody in, you know, because I don't want to ever get hurt. So I got these walls up, and so I can't get out, and you can't get in. That's not the kind of wall God wants you to have. Yeah, right. God wants you to have a wall up against the adversary, the devil, that's, right. that's trying to steal, kill, and rob you of that's, stuff. That's right. You need some walls. To keep the enemy out of your territory. That's right. He should just be able to walk in. That's right. Come on in. That's why we lock the doors to our house That's so right. people can't just walk in our house. Come on now. Come on. If I didn't care, I'd just leave it open. That's right. Leave the door wide open. Come on in whenever you get ready. That's right. But because I don't want you to come in whenever you get ready, unless I choose to let you in, you're going to ring the bell. But when you have walls up, he comes and you're like, damn. I know that's right. You got to think of a plan. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Get this wall up. Come on. Get up this prayer wall. Come on. Come on. Oh. I think of a man. I mean, every day they're talking to Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm going to get to this wall. Mm -mm -mm. What? What? Get through this wall. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to tear the wall down. Mm -hmm. But I gotta use them to tear the wall down. Mm -hmm. If I can do something to get them to stop praying. Come on. Uh oh. No. No. Woo blow. No. Mm. Jesus. Uh oh. Because see, the prayer life was building up a defense against Come devil. Come on now. So he couldn't just get to you like he wanted to get to you because you've been staying in the presence and the atmosphere hey, I, 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 of God. Yeah. So it's You ain't studying him as like old people would study. Hallelujah. It simply comes to your mind, but it has to go. Amen. Because you don't entertain it Come on. at all. Hey. He can't walk in on you. Come on now. He can't walk in on you like that. Yeah. But if he can tear your wall down, yeah. get you to stop praying. I'm going to pray. Uh, you know. And you know you was praying every day, and they got you down to five days. They got you down to three. They got you down to one, and now sometimes you don't pray at all. At all. At all. At all. He ain't praying. Right. So he just started walking on up in there. Up in your house. Why well, all this thing? Because you, your wall is gone. Right. Your wall is gone. You got to build the wall back up again. The Bible says, go back. And do your first works over again. Now it's a beautiful thing that God won't even allow us to go back and do it over. He's back in there and he talked to the people that the people, amen, they have a mind to do it. They want to do it. They want to do it. They don't want their city to stay the way that it is. Uh, amen. If you don't want your family to stay the way that it is, you don't want your children to stay the way that it is, you don't want your relationship to stay the way that they are. Amen. That your mind has got to be made up uh, that I'm going to do uh, what I need to do. Uh, now, I'm not talking about the devil. Uh, amen. Getting into other people because you can't make nobody do anything. Uh, you you can only make you do what's right. Huh? Make your mind up huh? that I am going to do this huh? because God told me to do this. Amen. Mind is made up. You can act the fool, but I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Amen. Your mind got to be made up. My mind got to be made up. They start building the wall up, and then here comes the adversary. Huh? Because I want you to get an understanding. Because huh? you think because you start back building, huh? and you trying to get back to God, huh? like you want to get back to God, huh? and you trying to go to another level, huh? and y'all got some gifts, huh? got talents, huh? hallelujah, huh? and you feel like that in everybody. Huh? But some people feel like, well, Lord, I'm trying. 
So I'm going to just get there. And you're going to make the devil leave me alone. Oh, I got to no. tell you. No, no, no. It's going to be difficult sometimes. Oh, it's going to be downright hard. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Go ahead, Murphy. But what I will tell you is you can do it. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I will tell you you can do it. Did you hear what I say? Because oh, you're not going to do it by yourself. Oh, God's going to help you to do it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, somebody just right back there. You know who I'm talking to. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you have to go through. Oh, amen. But God oh, was helping you. Oh, and you hold on. Oh, He's going to keep on helping you. Oh, don't let go. Oh, let him do his work. Oh, let him do his job. Oh, yes, it's hard. Oh, try to feel it. Oh, it might be hard. Oh, but hard will make me stronger. Oh, hard will make me go harder. Oh, hard will make If I fail the first time, I'll get back up and do it. If I fail again and again and again, I'm going to keep getting back up. I'm going to get back in your face. Because I am going to do it. The wall was half built. The devil is coming. And Satan Balak and them are coming and they're talking and they're talking to themselves. We don't like when people talk against us. I heard you. I heard you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta understand, especially if it's a repetitive thing. If it's repetitive, you keep doing the same thing over and over again. You gonna have to prove that. I know you gonna have to prove it to me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right. Because when I see you keep doing it over and over again, yeah. after a while, yeah. I'll be like, well, mm -hmm. God, okay, mm -hmm. I gotta see it. Right. Yes. I'll become. I'm gonna believe it when you see it, person. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah, but I'm going to be praying. I'm praying. Mm -hmm. I'm praying that God help you do it. Right. And he'll help you do it. And I'm praying that your mind get right. made up to do it. Right. Oh, my God. Your mind got to get made up to do it. And they trying to get their focus off. Huh? And they talking about it. And they talking against them. Huh? See, they talking about me. The devil got them talking about you. Because he don't want you to stay focused. Huh? He don't want your mind to stay in it. Huh? He wants you to be in a way because huh? they got something to say. Because huh? they seen a little something and you shut their mouth. Huh? They need to shut their mouth. Huh? But they not. They're going to keep talking. Huh? You just go on and do what you got to do. Because huh? they got some issues too. Huh? They ain't perfect. Huh? They got some stuff too. Huh? You know they got some stuff. Huh? They ain't Jesus. Huh? They trying to talk on you. Because huh? the devil using them. Huh? You make your Keep on talking, huh? Because after a while, huh? God's going to shut every day and say it's mine, huh? Because I'm going to ride, honey, huh? I'm going to get there, huh? I'm going to overcome, huh? I will huh? get the victory, huh? You just wait and see.
Half of the wall is built, and they talking about them. They talking, they talking, they whispering. As a matter of fact, your talking is helping me to get strong. Right. Some learn how to handle some stuff. I used to get handled and start talking. Start talking about me. You start talking. I used to get it out of They must be right. It's nothing to me. Let me help you. The devil don't take a whole lot of time dealing with people. If they're not really going to be anything. Come on here. He don't really put a lot of demons on them because he don't right. need to. Right, right. He don't need to put a lot of demons don't. on them. <laughs> so if he fight you real hard, that's because you got a whole lot of stuff mm -hmm. to turn his kingdom down with. Right. But he never want you to ever realize. Come on now. That's why he fight you and he fight your mind because he gets your mind in a place you think so low of yourself he want to keep you there because as long as you see, feel low about yourself you will never excel to the height that God knows he can take you and he wants to take you. It ain't nothing but a trick of the devil while he sit back and hope that you never come to reality and come to yourself to recognize who you really are in the Lord. When you recognize who you really are, you realize I got more power than you have, devil. Greater is he that's in me than he is in the world. You don't have more power than I have. I have the greater power. And I'm not scared of you no more. Stop telling me what I can do. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can You got to know it and you got to walk it. Come on now. Truth in the heart. Mm -hmm. You got to have a mind to do it. Come on. Do you going crazy. Go. Go. That's what the devil be saying. You, gonna lose. you feel like it took some time. You going to lose your mind. Say you was a liar. Liar. I'm not going to lose my mind. He will keep me in perfect peace. My mind is standing on the Lord. 
And if it ain't standing on the Lord, I'm going to put it back on him even more. That's right. So that my mind will be kept by the power of God. Yeah. You understand? I can't do the work and be crazy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory. I need my mind so I can do the work. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is not going to let me be crazy. I can't do his work and be crazy. Right. That's right. My God. Good God Almighty. He going to help me. He going to bless my mind. He going to sustain my mind. And then some people, they might have to get some medication or whatever the case may be. Whatever you have to do, you have to do it, then you have to do it. You understand what I'm saying? However, God is going to help you. That's right. He don't have everybody in the exact same way. That's right. That's the truth. But however, God is going to help you. Yes. Hallelujah. It's half built, but Nehemiah is not giving up. Right. And talking, Nehemiah is not giving up. The people on the wall is not giving up. Why the devil getting worse and worse? Oh, it's getting harder and harder. That's why, baby. Because you're getting somewhere. You're making progress. See, we think, oh, yeah, that's not nothing to be going on. Cause the devil's just fighting me and fighting me. Fight. No, it's really going on. Yes. You're really getting better. Yes. Oh, you're really climbing the ladder. And that's why he's coming even the ground. Because he's trying to stop it midway. Y'all got to stop this. Look. Ain't nothing to it. Ain't nothing to you. All that I know you've heard prophecies over your life. Even you were speaking in tongue, God, you know, sound like God was talking, but that wasn't God. That was yourself. Let me tell you what the devil is, baby. You was talking to yourself. And all that prophecy, and that stuff ain't going to happen to you. Now, God was speaking to you in many different ways. And the devil is trying to get you to doubt what God has spoken over your life. Because he's about to go into that next room and that next level. And he knows if I can stop them right there. Oh my goodness. Oh. And that's the damage I have to worry about. And that's the damage. I don't want them doing all that damage to my kingdom. Come on now. No, 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 no. That's why they're trying to make you act up even more on the job, trying to make you show yourself like a fool. Because people have been watching you. All these people watching you. And somebody to get ready to say, well, you know what? I think I want to be safe. And he wants you to add up a black pool. So he's going to Now I know. I tell you what. They ain't got to worry about me. You understand? That's how the devil works. That's how the devil works. They talk. Nehemiah. Building. And even got so bad, they were talking about how they were gonna go in there. So then I said, even though our mind is focused, the Bible says, watch and pray. Yeah. Yeah. Just pray. Yeah. You gotta keep your eyes open. You gotta be yeah. watch because the devil is coming. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta know the devil's taxes, the devil's devices. Mm-hmm. So they just talk about what they was gonna go do. Then I said, okay, this is what we gotta do. Just in case, we're not finished building this wall. Just in case they come over here and try to attack us, we gotta be ready. So they carried their weapons. In one hand, they had what they need to work with, and the other hand, the Bible says they had their weapons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My God. My God. But they kept doing work. Yeah. So you might have to be doing more than one thing at the time, but you gotta stay focused. What you trying to get done? This is not going to stop me. This threat is not going to stop me. But it's a threat. It's a possibility that they can attack. So I got to be prepared just in case they do attack. Yes. But in the meantime, I'm still going to keep building. And they build 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 and they build. Until they got the wall complete. Now it was supposed to take, you know, longer than what it did for them to build that wall. But they built it in 52 days. My Lord. Because they had a mind to do it. Oh, you don't want me to do it? Let me work even harder on this. So it would have taken me, you 
know, however long to, to do it. But now, God's going to see to it that I get dating quicker. Because yes. I'm, I'm going to work harder on my dad. I'm going to work harder on my dad. I'm going to fast even more. I'm going to pray even more now. Because mm -hmm. you want me to stop, but now I'm going to do it even more. Oh, I'm going to get in the word even more. You hear what? Every time the door is open to the church, I will be inside of the building. I will be there. You understand what I'm saying? Because I got a mind to do this. I have a mind to do this. In 52 days, it was finished. It was finished in 52 days. The wall is finished. And it came to pass that when all our enemies heard thereof and all the heathen that were about us saw these things. See, the Lord God wants the people to see mm -hmm. what he's done in your life. Yeah. That was running their mouth. Putting their mouth on you. And all those demons that was trying to get you to turn back and trying to get you to stop. But because you had a mind to do it. It couldn't stop you from doing. See, this is what we got to understand. We have God on our side. Only thing the enemy can do is talk and try to create scenarios and situations, but he cannot stop us. He has to get you to stop yourself. Come on, here. Jesus. He has to get you to change your mind. Get your mind switched over. From doing it, get you to give up. Oh, well, I can't do it. I'm just going to hell. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Then you're going to go. Jesus. It's not that you could not have gotten a victory, but you decided in your mind, yeah. this is too hard, I can't do it. You left God out. Because he never said you were supposed to do it by yourself. Yeah. When it says, I can do all things through Christ, I'm going to need Christ to, to get this done through me. Amen. Now I can say I can do it. Not by myself, but I can do it through the Lord. I can accomplish it through the Lord. God's going to help me. Whether it is a natural thing or it is a spiritual thing, I can do it. Amen. I will do it. I got a mind to do it. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for, I have a mind to do it. Now when they see all this that's taking place, now they perceive that this work was wrought of our God. Yeah. That's what we should want. That's what we should want. Now God be glorified. It was a hard way to go. But God be glorified. Now I have the testimony that God brought me out. Huh? That God lifted me up. Huh? God carried me through. Huh? And if he did it for me, huh? I know he can do it for you. I can't tell you huh? that the devil didn't find me. Huh? But I come to tell you huh? that I am a living, breathing huh? example of what God can and what God will if you have a mind to do it. Did he have a battle? Yes, he did. He had the battle out in the Garden of Gethsemane. He had to battle it out. He didn't want to have to go through all that he was going to have to go through, but he knew he had to go through. But he said, if it be possible, let the cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Because the will of God was his focus. The will of God was what he had a mind to do. But this is hard, so if you could take this away, I would want you to do that. But if you don't want to take it away, I got a mind to do it. I got a mind to do it. But I need some more strength. And he prayed and he prayed three times, an hour each time, the Bible lets us know. And he was weak in the body, and the angels came and they strengthened him. 
When he got up that last time, because the disciples kept going to sleep, and you know the first time he went back and said, y'all gone to sleep, he was like, y'all can't pray with me for one hour, because he needed some help. He wanted some help. He was saying, come on, help me out. I am exceedingly sorrowful unto death. This was Jesus. So if this was Jesus asking for some help, sometimes you and I have to ask for some help. Yes. Help me, please. Because I'm going to make it. Jesus asked them for some help, but they went to sleep. So even though you ask for help, you have to have a mind. If you don't help me, then I'll ask you to help me, but if you don't help me, I'm still going to do it. It might be hard for me to do it, but I'm still going to do it. If you don't pray for me or pray with me, I'm still going to do it because i got to get it done. He goes and prays again and come back to his sleep again. What's going on? Y'all can't pray with me for one hour? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He goes back and prays again. They go back to sleep. This time he read. Ooh, I'm together now. I'm fortified now. Amen. See, before I was trying to get y'all to help pray me through how I was going through. Because I was really going through so bad that the sweat was coming off of me like great drops of blood. I was in anguish. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? I was fearful. Because, look, I got to get my hands nailed. I got to get my feet nailed. You understand? There's going to be separation. And there's never been a separation. And I don't want that separation. But I got to be able to taste death for every man. You understand? So there must be a separation because I'm like itself. Huh? So there must be a separation. Huh? Oh my God. Huh? And I gotta let this happen. Huh? I gotta let it happen but I don't want to happen. Huh? But I know it's gotta happen. Huh? So I gotta let it happen. Huh? So I can go and do what I'm meant to do. Huh? So that others can be made free. Because huh? if I don't die, they will not live. I got to die so they can live. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So he went from judgment hall to judgment hall. Being ostracized and criticized. But his mind was made up to do it. Well, Pilate came and told him, you know, I got power to release you. You know, you can, I can let you die. Or whatever. He said, you don't have no power over me. Mm. But that which was given to you from above. My Lord. That's about the only time he really spoke. That's Otherwise, true. he was like a lamb, a sheep going before the, the slaughter. Yes. Dumb and melody, and he opened not his mouth. He let them crucify him. I want somebody. And God just say, you hold your peace. I don't want you to do nothing. 
I look like that bad. Yeah. And you hurt me real bad. And you feel like you're being crucified. Mm -hmm. But it ain't killing nothing but your flesh mm -hmm. and your pride. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, that's exactly what I want, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That's exactly what I want, God. Amen. Because as they see you hanging up there, they going to start seeing the glory of God. It's all with a purpose. You ain't going through just to go through. I'm going to use your pain, honey. I'm going to use your suffering to free somebody else. It's going to be worth it. But you got to have a mind to do it. Jesus had a mind to do it and he went all the way through it. He could have given up when they started beating him with the cat of nine tails. Really, before they started beating him, he could have started, you know, say, hey, you know, Paula, I, I didn't do anything. You know, these people doing what they're doing. And you know your wife that came to you and told you she had a dream, you know, that you should not have anything to do with me. You better listen to the dream. He didn't do any of that. Because he had a mission to accomplish. He had to do it. For me, he had to do it for you. If he had not have done it, you think of where we would be today. Without hope. Without a savior. Because no one was qualified. My Lord. Because everybody was born in sin, shaping in iniquity, and nobody was spotless but him. And it took a spotless lamb to die in our place. And he did it, and I mean he did it. He despised the shame, but for the glory that was set on the other side, he endured the cross. And they wrote a song, there will be glory after this. Yes. Listen, honey, there is an after this. There is an after this. And I'm not talking about when we all see Jesus in the sky. No, there is an after this. What you going through right now, there is an after this. Amen. Yes. Amen. And there's going to be some glory yes. that God's going to get after you go through this. What your mind made up to accomplish it. I'm waiting to see it. I'll be waiting to see it. I'll be excited already. Because I want to see the glory of God magnified in your life. I want to be able to look the devil in the face and say you thought you had him out. But you didn't. Oh, they got the victory. They got it. They got it. They got it. I want to be able to do my best. I want to be able to give my shout out. But I do that in each and everything that you do for me. I appreciate it. If you bless me for my birthday, I appreciate it. You bless me for pastoral, I, I appreciate it. But you can take every last one of those things and stay saved and live a righteous and a godly life. That's more important to me that you make it to heaven and that you glorify our King. That's more important. Money cannot buy that. Sometimes it comes time for you to get saved and God is calling you and God is pulling after your heart. The devil is saying, mm -mm. you ain't ready. Don't do it. Just wait. But there's been people that put God on hold. They put God on hold, but they was never able to get back to the phone. My Lord. Mm, come on now. Oh, see? Yes. Come on. I see. I see. 
Take the high with God on hold. Come on here. Hallelujah. Hey, Lord. Jesus. Woo. Glory. Glory. Don't put God on hold. Hey, hallelujah. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Don't put him on hold. Hey, hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Don't do God like you do your friend. Hold on for a minute. I got somebody else on the line. Ain't nobody but the devil. There ain't nobody but the devil. The devil will bring your boyfriend right up in your head. Come on. Lord, you don't want to let him go. He's a good one. He's a good catch. My God. Hey, but he ain't worth my soul going to hell. Right. He ain't worth that. He ain't worth my soul going to hell. She ain't worth my soul going to hell. Uh -huh. My brother, you got to let God help you out. All right, she the best thing that ever happened to you. She ain't died on that cross for your sin. Right. Right. Uh -huh. The best thing that ever happened to me died on Calvary's cross so that I could be saved. That's the best thing that ever happened to me. The greatest love that I could ever possibly have is the love that God gives me. Can't nobody love me better than God can love me. They don't exist. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And if you stop loving me, he's going to keep on loving me. Now. If you leave, he's going to still be there. He might leave, she might leave, but God ain't going to leave you. When he say he love you, he mean he love you. If he say he committed, he mean he committed. When he say I'm going to love you forever, he's going to love you forever. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Don't put him on hold. Don't put them on hold. This altar call, don't put them on hold. Online, don't put God on hold. In this building, don't put God on hold. You might not make it back to that phone. Don't put God on hold for that devil that's talking to you and tell you it ain't time for you to do that yet. You ain't ready yet. You too young for that. You ain't lived your life yet. You can't really live a life without God. You exist. But God himself is life. We think if we have living life, but we don't even have life until we get God. He wants to give you life. You live your best life. Amen. With God. You need him today. You're in the building. The ministers are up here. Pray with you. To help you to get to where you need to be. Because that stuff that the devil is offering you is not worth it. That stuff is temporary. But what God has is eternal. It will be with you in this life and the world to come. But you got to have a mind to do it. You got to have a mind to be saved. You got to have a mind to really want to be saved. A mind that you want God to do his will in your life. You got a mind to do it? Where's your mind? Where's your mind? And if your mind is not there, you can come and ask them to pray with you that God will help you to get a mind to do it. We're all not at the same place at the same time. But God's going to do a work. God's going to do a work. God's going to do a work.
Are you gonna help me, please? Don't block me. Move out of my way. Don't try to stop me. I got a nice to run. Run my feet at the finish line. I will see God's face. Hallelujah. God is just so good. He's so, 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 so good. Amen. We praise God. Amen. For moving in the midst of the service. Amen. We pray that you receive what you needed from the Lord and that you reached out and grabbed a hold to it. Amen. That you've been stirred up on the inside, whatever it is, whatever that situation is. Amen. Whatever that condition is, whatever the enemy been fighting you in. Hallelujah. Trying to stop you from doing it. That from today you have that mind. Amen. You have that mind to do it. Amen. And God's going to bless you. God's going to bless you, those of you that's online. Amen. We pray that you've received everything that you needed from the Lord on this morning. Amen. And that God has granted you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you, you, and you. Remember, we love you, but God loves you best. Be blessed.